Welcome back to the videos here with um, Piano Music and Repair. And in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating of how to take a piano lid off. Um, some come apart with screws, and um, a lot of piano lids come apart like this. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So right here we have a Kohler and Campbell um, console piano. And I'm going to show you how to take the music desk off. Not the music rack, but the music desk. So we're going to go ahead and get to it. So first what you want to do, if you're like a lot of people and have a lot of stuff on your piano, you want to go ahead and take that off. Alright, we've got the stuff off of our piano. And now, what we're going to do is... We are going to lower the music rack, just kind of raise it down here. And now we can go ahead and open the piano. Now, most of y'all probably know how to do this. I, of course, with these pianos, all you do is just take it and lift, and the, and the lid just pops open like that. All right, and now, kind of looks like a big upright piano now. Now what we're gonna do is we'll notice right here. Um, now, of course, this video is not with all pianos. Um, a lot of pianos open differently, but for some pianos, that open like this one, just kind of let you know how they open. So you'll see um, some screws right here. You can see right here, I don't really have a light. Let me get me a light here so y'all can see it a little better. So um, we have some a screw thingy right here. And I don't know why these extra holes are here. I mean, it may be missing a screw, but I don't know. You don't want to take all the screws out. You do not want to take these two out. You just want to take this one out from the sideboard whatever right there so of course don't take the whole bracket off or else it'll just be a lot more screws and a lot more work it's just easier to take the screw out so there's a screw right here and i'm trying to look here and see okay so i, I okay so that hole right there there's no hole behind that so i guess there was not meant to be a screw there so there'll be one on each side there'll be one here and then there will be one here um right there so, all we do, guys, is we just unscrew that with a screwdriver. And that's basically all that we're going to do with that. So, we're just going to get a... I'm going to open up my box here. Um, we're going to get a Phillips head screwdriver here, like, like this, as you can see. And we're going to unscrew these real quickly and be careful because a lot of the times people accidentally drop them down on the piano and that's not a good thing to do so um again when you're unscrewing it just make sure you have um just make sure you have one finger under the screw or make sure you have this is your other hand because you don't want to be doing this whole anything else like i'm going to set the camera down and do this you want to Unscrew it and you want to kind of keep your hand under it so the screw does not fall into the piano because if the screw falls into the piano, it'll be quite hard to get out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take uh, take that screw out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna kind of set you down here like that. You probably ain't gonna be able to see very much, but so you can see I'm just gonna take my screwdriver right here. You probably ain't gonna be able to see me do it all because like I said, I don't want to drop my screw down on the piano. This piano is worth $2,000. And I don't want to mess it up or lose anything. Um, so, we're just going to take our screwdriver here. And just loosen the screw. Oh, right, that's fine. We'll set you down here. Again, you just want to keep your hand under the screw so it does not fall down in the piano. Again, do not lose the screw. I mean, it'll probably be easy to replace it. But again, like I say, it's it's it. Look, your piano loses a lot more value when you lose original parts. Like pianos that are restored, sometimes it wouldn't be worth as much as it, if it had all the original parts. So, again, we're just going to take that screw out. And then, here's the screw right here. Nice little golden screw here, a little brass looking screw. I'm going to sit that there. We're going to side. Do not lose them, of course. And we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Quite hard for me to get this in here. All right, and sometimes when um, you got the screw really loose, you can just use your hand, which I do. Like, of course, it's easier to use your hand when you get the screw most of the way out. All right, and here is our other screw. I can tell all these screws are these screws already. 
All right, so guys, now what we can do is we want to keep our music right down. Um, you can um, sometimes, I mean, you can put it back up. Let me grab my phone here and all this. So, um, I think it's easier because where the music rack kind of comes above the music desk, it'll be easier to have it down. Just do not, don't force yourself up to the, the music desk though or else you will risk breaking this. But now what we're going to do, this comes the hard part. Now, um, there are some pins on the corners. And them pins is what keeps it in place. It ain't just held together by them screws. There's pins that it's held on. And it's really, really, really tricky to get that off. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pull this chair up. And I'm going to get me a stand. And I'll show you how I do it. So, I'm going to sit y'all right there. And I'm going to show you how to get this off now. Might hear some baby music because my little sister's in there. It's not fun having siblings. All right, so now that our screws are off, we can just go ahead and uh, kind of be very careful with this. Again, um, now that I mentioned it, it might be a little easier to um, keep the music rack up. So we're just going to take the fall board here. The fall board, we want to lower the fall board. Push, push it down, and we're just going to take it. And you'll notice when you lift up, it don't do anything. You actually have to slide it out. So you slide it out just like that. And then you'll expose the inside of the piano. Right here is the music desk. You got the music rack and the boards and the place right here. I don't want to go into detail with what all the parts are in here. But anyway, um, yeah, so that you'll, you'll expose the action which is the mechanism that makes the hammer move, which we will talk about in another video. And uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, set this piece aside. Now, I do have to mention, these pieces are really heavy. Um, they ain't no five pounds. They're not lightweight, and it's really, with these pianos, it's really heavy wood. Like, you can tell by just looking at something, sometimes it's a really cheap piano. So again, this, this, these pianos are really heavy. And there you go. Go ahead and grab y'all here. So again, when y'all are taking it out, you want to fold the music rack up. I'm sorry about that. And then you want to take all the screws out on one on each side. You can see the brackets are gone. Because, you know, it's, the brackets are actually right here. You can see the brackets come off with it. And I might want to tighten some of them screws up in a little while. And if you do feel this piece wobbling a little bit, like I feel it wobble a little bit, you can just take, you can just tighten them screws up. Because these screws right here, all they do is hold these brackets on. So if you if you need to, you can go ahead and you can just tighten them screws up a little bit. That won't hurt. And then you'll have the the rods for the pedals and the the keys and all that. Now one thing you want to be aware of, when you have the fall board that's like this, what can happen is this. It can slide back where it don't need to be slid. And this piece also can come up with it so you want to be careful that now with these pianos we will demonstrate in another video of how this fall board is taken off it's very very tricky the cheek blocks actually actually come off so um, um we'll explain in another video how we do that but that's how you take the front off of a um Kohler and campbell console piano um i'm gonna say there's the model number right there but yeah, um, then you have the hammer mechanism. Um, we'll talk about the action in another video. Of course, you got all the strings and all that. So anyway, um, thanks y'all for watching this. Um, I'm gonna play y'all a little outro here, like I always do. Again, in your front board, you just want to keep somewhere where it won't get, where it won't fall. And again, um, setting them down is quite. You have to be careful with that too. I actually recommend to set it on its end. Because I'm just sitting on my bed because I got to move some stuff around in my room. My room is quite a mess. So, um, yeah, so it's better to sit it on its end. Of course, be careful with these little, careful with these brackets right here, these little thingies. Because they can jab through your wall. And that would probably make you really mad. <laughs> would make me mad. Um, so I'd probably get in trouble if that went through my wall. But anyway, yeah, just want to be careful with that. Pianos ain't nothing to mess with, so... So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, be careful because when you take this out, um, if you if you're just taking it out by watching this video, because if you like, you have it. If you have a technician coming over, 
and they wanted you or you just took the front off of it so they have so they don't have the so it saves time for them getting in it so basically uh, I would just kind of let this just leave this alone or whatever because like I say this is nothing you want to mess with because this can mess up really easily that's actually when you press a key yeah so again that's how that works so that's how that works. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And uh, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And um, thank you for joining me for Piano Music and Repair. Please join us for other videos. And I'm not a 14-year-old boy that does not know what I'm doing. I, I know what I'm doing with this. So ha have a great day. And um, I will see y'all in the next video. I'm actually going to play a couple of pieces for y'all. Because I feel like I want to play some stuff. So I'm going to go and play like two songs for y'all. And we'll be done. I think someone's trying to break in my room. I'm actually filming whoever it is. I'm filming a video. Do not barge in here. I'm sorry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and play an outro and I'll see you in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next video. Debbie back there won't shut up. So go ahead, get off here and I will see y'all in the next video.